Bronny James. Bronny James, bro. I'm going to just say that and uh, talk to me, my brother. He needs to go back to school. That's too late now, but he needs to go back to school. And I hate that he's I, – I don't hate that he tested the waters and entered the, entered the draft and got a – you know, Mm-hmm. You know, started going with the draft process and and things like that. But I hate that. Uh, I hate that he's staying in the draft. I hate it. I hate so it for him. You say need to. I need you to identify your stance. Are you speaking as a hooper, a businessman? A, a GM or somebody who is trying to get LeBron? What stance are you speaking from right now? Uh, I'm speaking on the stance of what's best for Bronny because I, I think that's what matters. He, he should go back to school. And if I'm LeBron, I'm not letting my son go to the league. That doesn't seem like what LeBron's agenda is, though. I'm telling you, if I was LeBron, Okay, you're just saying if you were in his position. Because my thing is, if now, for one, I don't. I think it's unfair for one because I think, um, you know, LeBron wants to play whether with or against his son in the league, right? Mm-hmm. He's not his stock to be whether somebody forces it and picks him or not. His stock isn't high to be drafted. He doesn't need to go to the NBA, right? If if he's on anybody's draft board right now, they're, they're, it's forced. Yes. Not saying he's not a good player, but his timing is everything. Mm-hmm. He didn't play to start the season out, yeah, because he, he had health issues. Then he played, wasn't playing well, yeah. Maybe caught a little rhythm towards the end of the season. Mm-hmm. Just but go back. Do you feel like this year's draft is good? No. Okay. Listen to me. I could see if that you, too. If you feel like this year's draft is not good. Then, why would you wait to a couple of the years when the draft could be crazy? So just think about that. If you feel like, because there have been multiple players who have have and have not decided to go into a draft based upon how their stock would be in that draft. Yeah, I could see that too, and mm-hmm. I think that has a lot to do with why he stayed in the draft. Um, mm-hmm. But because next year's draft is going to be stronger. Um, but I just don't think he's ready for the league, bro. And I just, you know, and not, he's a good player. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he can't go to the league at some point. But it's just like, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's staying in because, like you said, it's not a it's not a, a super, super strong draft. Because, you know, Cooper Flag and him coming. Yeah. Bro, they had this other 12-year-old kid, bro. Looked like he's better than Victor Wimbanyama than us all. I don't know. Listen, at and at this point, bro, with some of the kids that I'm seeing come out, but some of these some of these kids test too, baby. Somebody said Nepo, baby. Yeah. I mean Some of these kids test two test two babies. They, come on, bro. This man was twelve and looked like he was better than Victor. Hey, just imagine what it'd be like when he's eighteen. But back to the Bronny um situation. Do you think he'll be in the league this upcoming season? I mean, I think the 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 talk, I mean, we're hearing more and more about Bronny. I mean, they're doing segments on Sports Center about Bronny and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is a his numbers weren't great. He wasn't able to play. You know what I mean? And and, and the, under the circumstances that he had, I mean, I'm not saying he should have had a great year, um, but I think that's all the reason for him why he should go back. But he's not. Um, but I don't know, bro. I mean, I, I think somebody. The way they keep pushing them, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody takes them. Somebody drafts them. But they'll be drafting them, I won't say because it's – I think him being LeBron has a lot to do with it. But he's a good player. I mean, you know, I don't want to take anything away from him. But it's like if it was anybody else with those numbers, <laughs> I don't know what he – averaged four points, you yeah. know, whatever. But he did have uh, – But and, and to to be fair, he did have a very serious medical condition. Yeah. Prior to that, and so like it, I mean, you know, you know which thank is, God he was able to even come back and play. Oh, for sure. Which is not why I'm not downplaying mm-hmm. anything. I think for that reason, it's all the more reason to go back to school, develop, get better numbers, 
maybe win some more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of, ah, let me just go. Everybody can be one and done. It's okay not to be one and done. Yeah. And I, I just don't think. Uh, now, somebody might take them. I, I'm saying all this and then somebody might take them. But if it was I don't if know why somebody, somebody wouldn't take them. Why? No, that's I said. I don't if know he, why somebody wouldn't. If this is anybody else that isn't LeBron's son with these numbers and had that type of freshman year, are are are, are you taking them? Come on, bro. We know the answer to that. We we know the answer to that. So that's my point. But this is not the same situation. You got to think. As a team, there are a lot of different people. Who have different things that are going to keep them employed, correct? Players, their statistics, how they mess with the team, their performance. Coach, wins, championship. Mm -hmm. How you can uh, lead the team. Mm -hmm. GMs, constructing a cohesive team and let's say maybe helping with, you know, more out marketing, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Owners. I'm pretty sure they want that chicken, bro. Now, a championship could help them get more. And, and, you know, when you make that level of money, you know, you got bragging rights. You know, I feel like with Bronny's situation, there are more variables at play. Every And I know, I know NBA players t talk about, you know, because of the competitive nature. Man, you know, I'm, I'm playing for a championship. Uh Kelchi, uh, appreciate you, first of all, for that super chat. Um, and they have notified us that Bronny has until June 16th to withdraw from the draft. Appreciate you uh, a lot for that super chat. He needs to withdraw. But, but hear me out, though. Back to my point. When you have different people that are important within an organization that have various goals, his decision about whether or not he's beneficial for a team is not cut and dry. Because coach could be like, y'all going to fire me if I lose. But y'all are also going to fire me if I don't play him because he's going to bring 20,000 more fans to the game. You think? It, and then y'all also going to fire me because if LeBron's mad at me, then I don't play him. But I think a lot of this too is is – LeBron is uh somebody said who's Brian? LeBron James' son. Mm -hmm. Doesn't LeBron want to play with Brian? That's exactly what I was getting to. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly what I, I was stopped and read to say this. Thing. I think a lot of this has to do with LeBron has said he's on the record saying he wants to play with his son. Yeah. So I think a lot of people are thinking like, man, if we draft Bronny, we might get LeBron. Psh, why wouldn't you think that? So I think that's the push right now. I, you know, and I don't know who would take him or, or things like that, but it's a rare opportunity to play with your son. I don't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, we've has it ever happened? I don't think it's ever happened. We've had, of course, plenty of guys that are in the NBA that had dads that play in mm -hmm. the NBA. Who's actually played on the team with their son? I don't think it's ever happened. I could be wrong. Didn't it happen one time? I could be wrong. Uh, I could be wrong, but somebody let us know. Didn't it happen one time? I could be wrong, or maybe that was maybe, was it? Maybe it's baseball. Yeah, I don't know if it maybe happened. It's baseball. It doesn't because it, it. I'm gonna tell you why it didn't happen in the NBA because it doesn't line up as far as the ages. Like LeBron is a robot. Yeah. LeBron is a unicorn as far as yeah. how long, how old he is, and mm -hmm. how great he's been for this long. Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't like that's not normal. So it doesn't line up for people to have a son, and then the son gets to the league and you still playing. It doesn't line up. You know what I mean? LeBron's a unicorn. Um, so I said Google says never. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't have to look because no, because it's like it doesn't line up. Yeah. Steph, Steph been playing. You, it's not Dale Curry is not gonna play long enough for Steph to. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just doesn't. This LeBron's a freak. So it's just this is rare. You know what I mean? And so when assessing it from that level, then a lot of times players are able to get to the league and completely change their family's well-being for generations. That has already been done to the highest extent with LeBron. So what's more important, another person being in the league or legacy history? And because let's 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 be honest, Bronny going to the league would be great. 
but his family is straight. Yeah. And and I know this ain't no pocket watching stuff. I mean, you're straight, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all are gonna be good. Everything else is going to be like personal goals mm-hmm. and aspirations, which everybody has. And I'm not I'm never saying saying anybody should settle on something if you know there's things that you could do. Mm-hmm. But whether or not he makes it to the league is not going to be detrimental to his family, not gonna put food on the table, none right. of that, that type of stuff. So going into the fact that you just said never been done. It's it's a good storyline. It's a good for their family. That's a movie, bro. Yeah, I mean it's great movie, great storyline for their family, mm-hmm. right? I'm thinking outside of that, right? Their family, cool moment, great. You take pictures and and I'll have that forever. It's a mm-hmm. moment, great. Other than that, once LeBron retires, I mean he's only he's on his last years. Once LeBron retires. Even if even with LeBron being in the league, Bronny, once you're in the league, now you have to sustain a career. Now you No, he doesn't though. That's what I'm getting at. He does not listen, in the sense of their family, he doesn't. He doesn't yeah. have to work a day in his life. He doesn't have to. But in the sense of this is what your career is now, you have to sustain a career. So whereas people might draft him mm-hmm. because of who he is and the storyline, if that's the reason why you're drafting him. Mm-hmm. Cool. Once that's over with, then you have a career. Then you have to develop. Then you have to be on somebody's roster. Then you have to be good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. So once the storyline is out the way, once LeBron and Bronny make history and they're on the court together with the teammates or opponents and they take pictures and it's a moment and it's a, oh, my God. After that's over with and LeBron, I mean, Bronny's in the league, then what? Enjoy life, but I'm as far as a player, like what then you know what I mean? I'm thinking outside of the moment, right? Everybody's like, Yeah, Brian, get to the league, it's it's cool, all right? It's gonna be great, it's gonna look great, it's gonna look great on Instagram, it's gonna look great on Instagram when LeBron and Brian on the court together, it's gonna look great after that. Then what movies, endorsements? I'm talking about basketball. It sounds like what you're talking about is not just basketball, you're talking about. Bronny. Yes. Because that's what it's about. I guess he will be the only person to answer that. I mean, it has to, it got to play out how it's going to play out. But I'm just saying, like, I'm thinking after that, you get drafted to the NBA, you're, you're, everybody else that gets drafted to the NBA, they, they have plans to sustain a career for years to yeah. come, to be an important part of whatever team they're on and sustain a career. Mm-hmm. Right. People are pushing Bronny to get to the league so we can see this movie. So I, I, you get what I'm saying? Great and point. I, look, look, great point. On, Do you on, not want to see it? Hold on, hold on. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying Bronny doesn't want to sustain a career mm-hmm. and be the best player he can be and have a long NBA career. I'm not saying he doesn't want to do that because mm-hmm. I know he does. But the push right now is just for that to see LeBron and his son. That's what people want to see. So you don't want to see it, bro? I'm not saying I don't. I mean, it'd be cool. I would rather. I, it would be cool, but it would be great, bro. bro let's stop said, playing. It would be said, great. All right, I, I already said I think Brian needs to go back to school. I already said that. No, not that, not that. I'm talking about. It would be great seeing him and his dad play together. Cool, cute. Then what? <laughs> bro, it's it's just. That's like, what I just said. What you mean? It's like Fourth of July. Fireworks go up. Everybody gonna be crazy. They gonna they gonna want to see it. But I don't it's like then what? It's over. I don't watch fireworks. But you've experienced it the one time to know that it was no, great. Fireworks are nice. Exactly. It's going to be the same you've thing. You've seen it, it once. You've seen it all. I'm not saying I don't like fireworks, but it's just mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? I got you. I got you. I do cool. think it is. Do I, it for the gram. Once, once, the, once the Instagram post of mm-hmm. LeBron and Bronny on the court together hugging with NBA uniforms on, once that gets a million likes, yeah. then, then what? You can say we the first to do it. Then what? That's everything. It's great for that That's family. everything. That's it's the great. NBA Finals. That's that's everything. That's getting drafted. That's everything. That's everything in life. It's always then what? That's life. We got some chats coming in, too. And we want to go to the ch- uh, chat for a few things that are going in. Somebody says, to your point, cute. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> are you saying if he actually wants to play? I've always wanted that. No, I know he actually wants to play. Um, he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't be doing all this uh, draft prep. You know, going through work. He had a pro day 
uh, the other week. And I mean, he, he, he wants shot to be. the ball in that one drill, though. What they say to me, like two or threes in a row? Listen. That's shooting right there. I'm going to be clear. Bronny is a good player. Right? He's a good player. I'm not taking anything away from him as a player. But I'm saying timing is everything as far as getting to the league. And I'm saying right now, more people want to see the storyline of him being in the league with his dad than him actually being in the league. Question you just asked me. I'm going to flip back on you. You asked me if LeBron was not his dad, would he get drafted? I'm asking you that question now. If LeBron was not his dad, realistically, where on the draft board do you think He's he would He's not be? on it. He's already on Really not on it. You think he would not be on it at all? No. He's not. He's really not on it at all now. Really? I, I think there are a couple teams that are like, oh, we might take him, you know? But, like, he's not. He's still not. Mm. I've seen some pre-draft comments from some scouts, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> not that he's not a good player, but it's, it's you know what I mean? It's fit. It's, it's. So we talked about Caitlin Clark. I actually think this is funny. Uh, this parallels in, in another way, too. We talked about Caitlin Clark, right? And her impact on the WNBA and people are like, hey, it's other people here, too. <sighs> Who else in the draft are you like, oh, yeah, this, this person nice, and I can't wait to see them get in the league? In the, the, the NBA? In the upcoming draft for the NBA. The NBA? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dalton Connect, Go Vols. Yeah, yeah, he, he can hoop. I think Rob Dillingham is, is up high on the draft board from Kentucky. I have a question. Reed Shepard. If Bronny was not in this draft, from a interest level, do you think this potentially could be one of the most mm, drafts ever? From an interest level? Yeah. Yeah. So. People don't know who the number one pick is going to be. Going to how we talked about Caitlin Clark. These are businesses. If the business knows this year is going to be ah, the only way to make up for that is to find another narrative or story to hit. So you're saying Bronny is the story? Absolutely. Somebody just said if Bronny goes to the league before he's ready, how long are people going to want to watch him mainly on the bench? And That's what I just said. Realistically, I'm going to be honest. I got the number for you. Only as LeBron is... Starting on the team, but that's what I said. That that is it. not even playing on the team. You know, only as long as he's starting on the team. You're not listening to him. Talk to me, because I said that. <laughs> I said LeBron is on his last years. He's gonna be yeah. 40 years old in December. Mm-hmm. He's on his last years. He how just finished his 21st season in the NBA? How many how, how many more years he's he got on to his start? last years? I don't know how his body's feeling. I know it's tired. Mm-hmm. It's old. He doesn't have many years left. He's on his last oh. years. Two or three at the most, I think. That's playing at the level he plays at. Because I think if he wanted to old head it, if he wanted to old head yeah. it out and just, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, spot yeah, yeah. Up, we, just spot up in the corner, yeah. he could play for 10 more years. If yeah, you your to. boy Udonis has him, man. He's old man. In it. But the way LeBron is, he's, he's sustained a level of greatness mm-hmm. consistently over a 21-year career. Mm-hmm. So I think whenever he can't, be what he's been for the last 21 years, he's going to stop. That's okay. what makes sense. Okay. So with LeBron being on his last years, mm-hmm. once the storyline is out of the way, it's cute. Mm-hmm. Bronny's here. Oh, my God, Dad. And they get a picture of Instagram and stuff. Cool. After that, how long are people going to want to watch Bronny? Is Bronny going to develop into... A good enough pro to wear. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's still on the team. Final question. Is he going to go to the G League? He's going to end up overseas. We I, we don't know. And that's not to say Bronny, like, come on now. Bronny's been LeBron James' son his whole life. So he, want, he's, he wants to get it on his own. He want, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's, he's already, you know what I mean? He's a competitor. He's, he's like, man, I can do this for a team or this for a team. He's going to do everything he yeah. can to be a pro. For years to come, I know it. But I'm saying as far as what everybody wants to see, it's just to see LeBron and his son. Oh, true. Final question on this subject. Uh, and people have already asked this in the most obvious way, so I'm going to just ask it in probably the corniest way ever. If LeBron James is a chocolate factor, is Bronny the golden ticket? No. So that's not going to get you inside the chocolate factor. 
And, and let's go ahead and dissect this. If you're a team and you want LeBron or want his presence, Mark, or whatever the case may be, do you feel like getting Bronny will definitely get you get you LeBron? I don't think it's a definite. Yeah, it's it's too many. Uh, somebody said LeBron a golden ticket. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not. Are we flipping it? What team is moving mountains to get a 40 year old LeBron right now? Even with him being, if we just trying to sell tickets and things like oh, that. Oh, you just said it. If if you said it. If the who was bad. Was it, Detroit? was it Detroit? If if the Pistons pick up Bronny, yeah, is LeBron just gonna find a way to get to the Pistons? I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. I, like, it's certain players. I feel like you can, like, yeah, they they want to go to a team that's winning the championship. When you have all of the accolades that he has, I don't know, bro. You've done it all. This is something that has not ever been done. So when you ask me that question, would he go to Detroit? If it means you can do another thing that hasn't been done, because you've done everything else. I don't know. I, I would not be surprised. If I woke up one day and it's like the Pistons have acquired Bronny James, and then the next day I saw LeBron James is asked for a trader, is headed to Detroit, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm not going to be surprised. I don't care if they have an 0 and 82 record for the season. I'm not going to be surprised. And you ask me who would want that? A team that knows they're not going to win a championship and they still got bills and they still got people to pay and they're still trying to get that money. That is a team who would do it. What's LeBron playing for right now at this point in his career? I feel like he's actually answered this question before. You know how NBA players always got well, LeBron, you know, LeBron always has his philosophical answers for it. LeBron be lying too. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world. It's hilarious. LeBron is a character, bro. LeBron, is- he lies. <sighs> It's funny though. It's not like bad lies. It's not like a, but he's he's like he's he's a liar. It's like a he's like a funny liar. Like he doesn't lie about anything serious. Yeah. But it's like little stuff. Like he he he, he lies his butt off. It's he, hilarious. The biggest one that I just don't believe at all ever is when he's like, "Yeah, I'm not the coach. I'm, I'm a player. That that's their decision." I just be looking at him. It's just a, like, you can look up a whole compilation <laughs> bro, of him <laughs> lying. I don't believe the that, funniest bro. ones is when he had the book. Yeah. He was reading the book. Mm-hmm. He's acting like he was reading a book, I should say. And they were like, well, you know, tell us about the book. He's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's a good book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He can't. I ain't seen that one. I'm about to check it out, though. I'm you know about to check I mean? it out. <laughs> <laughs>